Tiempo. Well, before she died, she called me to her bed. Forgive me, Kimpo. What is there to forgive? You've been a good and faithful wife. <laughs> Whoa, Kimpo, it was ugly how I deceived you all these years. I want to go clean to my baker. And so I have to tell you that the children are not yours. Well, then whose are they? I don't know. There were a lot. But they're not yours. And then she tossed her head to the side, her, her eyes turned glassy, and it, it was all up with Elka. On her white lips remained a smile as if, dead as she was, she was, I imagined her saying, I deceived Gimple. That was the meaning of my brief life. Why do you sleep? What should I be doing, eating kreplach? The whole world deceives you. Deceives me? And you ought to deceive the world in your turn. How can I deceive the world? You might accumulate a bucket of urine every day, and at night pour it into the dough. Urine? Let the sages of Frample eat filth. But, but what about the judgment in the world to come? There is no world to come. They sold you a bill of goods and talked you into believing you carried a cat in your belly. What nonsense! Well, well then, is there a god? There is no god either. Well, what is there then? A thick, a thick, thick mire. mire.